Hello traders, Adam Hansen here for ValorTrader.com and welcome to the third video in this series tracking the performance of Vest in Forex Automated Systems. Uh, this is actually the statement from uh, last week's uh, demo performance. We have actually taken the system live since uh, trading finished as of last Friday. Uh, but this is the statement uh, which we traded, uh, we commenced trading this system on the 23rd of January and this uh, summary here will pretty much uh, will summarize the entire all, all the trading that occurred on our Pepperstone demo account up until the 3rd of February so as you can see here it's actually performed pretty well I'm pretty pleased with what I've seen here it's uh, we've had a uh, the account started with ten thousand dollars and we've seen a closed trade profit of three hundred and fifty four dollars and eighty nine cents which um, represents a profit of 3.54 percent uh, as you can see here it's uh, had a uh, profit factor of 2.9 and expected payoff of seven dollars and 71 cents and it's been able to achieve that with uh, zero absolute drawdown and a maximal drawdown of only 0.67 percent which is um, uh, very promising to see uh, over the period it traded 46 times uh, 32 of those were profitable and 14 were losing trades 15 have been uh, short positions and 31 have been long positions with a short winning percentage of 73 percent a long winning percentage of 67.74 and a uh, total uh, profitable trade percentage of 69.57 percent so highly respectable there and also important to note that uh, our largest profitable trade is larger than our largest loss trade and even more importantly our average profitable trade uh, was uh, greater than our largest losing trade so very happy with with what I've seen here which is why we have taken it uh, to our live trading account now since one since uh, Monday we've seen uh, some interesting trades this is the uh, the VPS that you gain access to uh, when you become a member of Vest in Forex and um, this account actually started with uh, $11,461 so we've had quite a, uh, a substantial losing period uh, since we commenced trading this live on Monday which equates to an absolute drawdown of 10.14% so not an ideal start and it definitely doesn't correspond with our, our demo trading results however the important thing to notice, uh, and I've been back and forth with uh, Evo, the developer of Vest in Forex, in, in regards to this. The important thing to note is that um, we have actually changed brokers. Our demo account uh, was through Pepperstone, which is one of the, the brokers that Vestin recommends. It's one of the brokers that they have tested the systems on and have proven themselves. Uh, so we switched with our live trading, we've switched to MyFX Markets, which still uses a New York close. However, um, what this means is that we may not be getting the exact same trades as what Avestin is taking themselves because they are using, uh, I think it's uh, for non-US residents as recommended uh, Pepperstone and US residents is recommended uh, Traders Way. So uh, for some of the EAs in particular, Gunner, which um, just it, it, it trades in a particular way uh, which is sort of uh, dependent a little bit upon the broker itself. So um, because we're using a different broker, we have taken a few different trades to uh, what Avestin has done themselves. So if we just head over to the track trades, uh, which I went into a little bit in the last video, uh, here we're able to follow the exact trades that Avestin is taking themselves. So if we just have a look, at, these are the current current open orders so we see we've got two trades on euro dollar uh, the first trade was at an opening price of 1.06688 now if we just compare that with what we're trading here uh, okay so you can see yep two trades on euro dollar and the opening price uh, was 1.06683 so these are the two trades so th these are both cable trades which and Cable is, is the robot that becomes available to you if you sign up for the, the Pro package with Avest in Forex. And from what I'm seeing, uh, most of the Cable trades do seem to follow, uh, despite the fact that we are with a different broker. 
most of the cable trades uh, appear to be following the exact trades that Avestin is taking themselves. The only ones, like I say, that I have seen uh, thus far are the gunner trades. Now if we just have a look at how that varied, uh, we'll go to closed orders and we'll head to the last page. Now it'll be the second last page. And there were a pair of quite successful pound Aussie trades that were placed here at the start of the week. These pair here. Okay, so pound Aussie, they are that, that trade there and that trade there are two trades that are vest in talk uh, that our uh, our broker didn't trade. Instead, we traded. Uh, head back to here, and if we look at account history, in place of those two trades, uh, with my FX markets, we actually traded uh, these two pound yen trades. So that trade there and that trade there. They were the trades that we took with Gunner instead, and they uh, both tended to be losing trades, but. The point I'm making is that um, Gunner in particular, you will see some variations uh, between brokers, which is why Avestin themselves recommend using, uh, like I say, either Pepperstone or Traders Way, that, as they are the brokers that they use, and that way you can be absolutely certain that you are taking the same trades that they are taking. Now, so it's no secret, it hasn't performed overly well. Uh, in live trading since uh, we started trading it. However, is this beyond the realm of what uh, this program has seen in the past? Well, let's have a look. If we just head back to the track trades and we'll just go back to since this account started, which by the way, I did uh, confirm with Evo. Uh, if you remember from last video, I was going to confirm with him as to whether these results that we're seeing here were in relation to a demo or a live account. They are in fact in relation to a live account. So since this account started, if we just head back and we'll see just some of the runs that it's had in the past. Um, and it, it, as you can see here, it's not unlike, we've had some quite sizable losing streaks here. It's not unlike anything that it hasn't experienced in the past. So, and I mean, if we head over to, let's have a little bit further. Okay, as we see, I mean, we've got a, a big run of winners here. So. Once again, it's, it's not like anything it hasn't experienced in the past, so I'm not overly concerned at this point in time. We'll just have a quick look at the series of trades that were taken uh, last night. Now, this is a series of trades. These were the trades that were taken on the cable EA. Uh, yeah, these, these three here. And so they're the trades that accounted for large, of that, uh, sorry, most of that um, uh, 10.14 percent absolute drawdown that we've seen but like I say this is not unlike anything that we haven't seen before uh, from the trading history with these these robots I'm not overly concerned at this point so we'll continue to track uh, the progress of invest in Forex uh, on our live account and we will bring you an update uh, maybe not this Saturday I'm probably looking at either Monday or Tuesday next week uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll I'll touch base with you all again and bring you an update then on how it's performing. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, be sure to give it a like. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that you stay up to date with any further releases uh, in relation to Investing Forex or any other program uh, that we test. Uh, there's also a website, uh, valatrader.com. So until the next video, guys, uh, stay safe and I'll see you then.